Wait. Boop. Boop. Leave it. Touch. Touch. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Modern Dog Training. My name is Drayton Michaels, I'm a dog trainer behavior technician. Let's talk about why the oops warning cue is so important. When you make the sound oops to a dog, it signifies that the next thing that happens to them, if they proceed, will be a timeout. A timeout might be into a pen or a crate. A timeout might be a door shutting. A timeout might be removing a treat if they go to take it from your hand. But the oops warning cue will warn them that the next thing that happens if they keep going is a timeout. If you do this consistently at doors and gates, when you go to hand your dog a treat, or if they're about to jump on a person or a table, if you oops to warn them pretty soon, that sound oops is going to get associated with being timed out or some removal of reinforcement. Removal of reinforcement is a huge consequence for dogs. When you take away the reinforcement or the access or the reward that the dog is looking for, they are going to learn that if they do it, they'll lose that reinforcer, they'll lose that reward. Such as if they're at a door and they wait to go through it and you shut the door on them, they are going to learn that moving out the door unless okay. released with some sort of cue or phrase like okay or all through, then they will learn to not go through the door. But when you warn them with oops, they will recalibrate. Recently, I was picking up a dog named Ralphie who I have been working with for eight years, so he's very well accustomed to the oops warning cue. And I let him out of his house. They have a nice big yard with a long driveway, so there's no chance that he's gonna run into the street. And typically, he runs right to my car, but on this particular day, he ran past my car and I couldn't see what was coming down the driveway. Fortunately, it was his guardian and she was coming back from a run. But without hesitation, I went, Oops, and he turned around and came back and recalibrated. Let's take a look. Boop. Leave it. Touch. Touch. Up. Good boy. In a lot of videos, you're gonna hear me go, oops, and then shut the door, please, and then ask the dog for an auto sit. When I do that, it's because the next thing that will happen if the dog proceeds is a timeout. So I'm associating the oops warning cue with some removal of reinforcement. That's why it's powerful. There also happens to be another reason cognitively why the oops warning cue is so salient to dogs. It has to do with a system in their brain called the ascending reticular activating system or the ARAS. And this particular part of the dog brain is really skilled at latching on to certain novel sounds. That's why kissy sounds, clicky sounds, that kind of stuff really gets a dog's attention. And that's why those sounds work as prompts. So if I make a kissy sound or I whistle, after I ask the dog to leave it, and then they do the leave it, those sounds will be associated with reinforcement. It's sort of like a secondary cue, but actually it's a prompt and it's a way to motivate your dog. The oops warning cue works the same way, only the predictive value of oops is that the dog will be timed out or have a removal of reinforcement. So instead of saying, hey, no, cut it out, dog name, dog name, cut it out, stop it, dog name, and doing all that nonsense, start to issue a oops and then a consequence where you remove the reinforcement. Whether it's you time your dog out because they jumped on the counter or a person, or you time your dog out from exiting a door by shutting it, this oops warning cue is gonna save you a lot of legwork and it's gonna help your dog recalibrate. And by the way, it's super savvy and anyone can do it. Whether you're a kid, an adult, it doesn't matter if you even have a good singing voice or anything like that. You can go oops, oops, oops. It doesn't matter what register you do it in. A little bit higher is better, so oops. You know, if you have that ability, that's definitely gonna make it better and easier for the dog to latch onto it but it's a lot better than saying your dog's name over and over again, or no, or hey, or cut it out, because those things don't really work. Thanks for watching Modern Dog Training, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and check out this video from our Dog Life series.